What are we doing, Warren? Uh, right now I'm dumping some of the link tapes, and this was a program I wrote. It's similar to the stuff that Dave Gresham did for dumping and restoring tapes. Okay. And this happens to be a 128 word tape. Alright. And uh, this is the first cut of my program, which works, and it basically is reading one block at a time, and then uh, we'll turn the sound up, it's a little annoying otherwise. Yeah. That's the data being sent to my PC and being captured. Okay. And these tapes are 3,300 blocks long, so I'm patiently waiting for this bit to come on. <laughs> yeah, let's turn the speaker down a little bit while, while we're talking here. So, um, basically we're, we're cooking along and obviously uh, you can see that tapes are working. What's on this tape? Uh, don't know. So <laughs> it's labeled OS8. <laughs> so we got how many tapes uh, with the machine? Were Twenty-six tapes with the machine. Twenty-six tapes with the machine. Some data, some programs that were yeah. used in research in the '70s. There some software ten, tapes. There's about ten of the tapes were link tapes. Okay. Uh, lap six dial. Okay. Lap uh, six dial is what? That's one of the operating systems for link mode. Okay. For the uh, going back to the link. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the link mode of, yeah. of the 12. And then the others are OS 8. This happens to be an OS 8 tape. Okay. And it has a sticker on it. If I was brave, I'd stop it and show it to you. But I'm not that brave. No. And it just says OS 8, but the other three quarters of the label is fell off. Okay. So we don't know. It could be OS 8 Super Special Edition. Okay. For so example. now, right now, I'm trying to read 3300. Okay. And you see we're in the shoe shine mode. Yes. So I carefully set up, if I set this button, it will halt, reset the tape controller, and then when I release it, it will rewind it. Okay. And it's been captured. So shoe shine mode was the end? That's the highly technical term for when it just keeps going back and forth. Yeah. So what happens is I tell it to read block 3000. Three, three, uh, three, uh, uh, three yeah. The last one on the tape is 2777. Seven, seven. Oh. So it backs up, and that's where it parts normally. And when you say read 3000, yeah. it comes up to speed, starts reading, and hits the end zone. Yeah. And it's just smart enough to know end zone bad. Yeah. Turn around. Okay. It goes back, and eventually it stops when it reads a block. Yeah. And then it goes forward again, and it reads a block number and says, oh, this is 277567. Yeah. We need to go this way some more. We go to the end. Yeah. We say, oh, end is bad. Let's yeah. turn around. So why not just have it rewind to the beginning once it I don't reads 2777? Oh. oh. See, if, if I was... Most of the people would just say, oh, just tell it it's 3,000. Yeah. But I don't know that it is 3,000. And in fact, some of these tapes uh, are really, really short. Oh, yeah, you can see because there's, uh, whoa, <laughs> my finger is not in the right place. So pretty, pretty deep here. So not a long tape. So this one is labeled 700 base 8 block scratch. Oh, I'm not in focus here. There we go. 700 base 8 uh, block scratch. All right. Since I knew I was going to have to read some of these weird ones, and apparently what they did on these is they just cut them off. Yeah. And started formatting it as a real long, real device yeah. tape. Yeah. And they just don't go that far. Right. <laughs> now. Um, so in order to dump those, I wanted to be flexible enough I could basically. Sure. And I messed with the tape controller a bunch, and it, yeah, this was the easy way. Yeah. So. Let the operator tell you. So the so doing this is part of the kind of archaeology of maintaining and restoring these old machines yeah. because you know we've got these 26 tapes or whatever that have been in a closet for 40 years yeah. nobody knows what's on them what versions of the OS or the software and you've got you know, four or five tapes that are very close to original deck there are two original deck link tapes that are the source sure and I don't know if they're uh, unique yet or not right but they're the original deck distributions for source for um, lap six dial. Right, so throwing these away or reformatting them 
is like destroying old, yeah. you know, original volumes you found in the basement of a monastery I need or something. To start my, I need something to start my campfire. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so you know, we had these 26 tapes. Part of Warren's goal, uh, you know, in getting the machine up and running is archiving these tapes. Correct. And then yeah. we will add them. Whatever, you know, we don't quite so know what's on these. So. Yeah, yeah, but uh, some of these could have, you know, well, they were used for research. Well, earlier was labeled experimental OS-8, and we think that's where his experiments were. Oh, I see, okay, so... Don't know, I haven't looked at the data. Yeah, so we'll have to look at the data and see, you know, we don't expect there would be any privacy concerns, but we'll look into that, but certainly anything that's not uh, sensitive in any way will make available to uh, the community at large so to we'll use. basically tell... Uh, Dawson that he needs to pretend that none of these have been imaged and I normally read them three times right just because I'm paranoid <laughs> right now that's kind of a weird idea for modern you know users because media is reliable right it, well, it, of course. it either reads of course. it yeah, and right. tells you it's done or it reads it and tells you there was like a, a block a block checksum error or something like if that you had a hard drive crash on you Yes, but usually it tells you that it crashed, right? Well, but if you've ever, you know, had one crash and lose things, because, oh, I didn't store it on my backup USB drive, no. or my external USB drive, or Absolutely. put it up on the cloud. But what I, I guess what I'm getting at here is that... I only got one shot. <laughs> right, what I'm getting at here is that we can copy these tapes, but it doesn't necessarily mean that what we get is correct. Correct. Yeah. Because the tape may have had corruption, or yes. the machine might be doing something weird there's and a, flipping there's bits. A, right. There's, you know, um, the machine is running really well. It's, right. I'm, I'm pretty confident with it. I right. Mean, um, if we had problems with the tape drives or something, then I'd be much more leery. Right. And uh, you'll note I don't have the right enable on. Right. Even though that requires logic in the CPU to, to honor it. And yeah. Yeah. It's not like that's physically disconnecting right, anything. Right, right. So there's logic involved with that, so... Right. Um, and then uh, I started out with ones that were less interesting, and then last night I did the, uh, the original deck ones. Cool. So the machine's been running for a while. It's stable. And, yeah, yeah. It's, you, uh, we got through the magic smoke incident. Yeah, exactly. So... Um, so, so as you said... So this isn't real fast. It takes about 15 minutes to go through a deck tape, uh, a uh, OS-12 tape, Yeah. which is Link. And some of the newer people think this is backwards, but actually deck tapes are backwards. Mm. This was the right way. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Link tapes were wrapped they the other way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and predated. Yeah, the um, question would be, what's a PDP-1? Mm. Mm. Granddaddy I, of them all. Um, so that's why we'll have Dawson re-image these uh, tapes, and then we can compare the copies to make it's sure exciting. that, uh, you know, it's consistent and, you know, yeah. makes sense. And then this is a new program, and uh, I've done some programming on the, the TC-12 tape controller sure. before, but there's lots of little subtleties. And sure, sure. It seems to work. Ship it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so we'll uh, we'll check these tapes out and uh, and uh, you know see how things go and uh, if Dawson has problems, so, maybe there'll be so, another so video. So far, but... I'm all, I'm up to like almost three megs of data. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. Takes a whole stack. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, stay tuned for more updates.